What is today on today's situation? Welcome everyone to today's situation where we answer what is today and what happened on this day. Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. Let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for May 2nd. Today is Baby Day. Baby Day is the only statewide celebration of the first three years when early experiences shape lifelong potential. Join us year-round to celebrate this incredible period of growth in our tiniest of humans. Today is Lemonade Day. Lemonade Day is a fun, experiential program that teaches youth how to start, own, and operate their very own business, a lemonade stand. Each year in participating cities, youth have the opportunity to experience entrepreneurship by setting up their business during their city's community-wide Lemonade Day. If you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. International Harry Potter Day May 2nd is International Harry Potter Day. Harry Potter fans from around the world traditionally celebrate this day by watching the movies, playing Quidditch, and by reading the series. Today is World Tuna Day. Tuna and tuna-like species are very important economically to both developed and developing countries and a significant source of food for humanity. They include approximately 40 species occurring in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans along with the Mediterranean Sea. As a result of the amazing qualities of tuna, the fish are threatened by an overwhelming demand. That is why in December 2016, the United Nations General Assembly voted to officially observe the World Tuna Day in its resolution on this day. Important historical events for May 2nd. In 1497, the historic expedition of John Cabos departed Bristol, searching for new lands across the Atlantic. They reached the coast of what is thought to be Newfoundland. In 1536, the execution of Anne Boleyn occurred. She was the Queen of England from 1533 to 1536 as the second wife of King Henry VIII. Their marriage and her execution for treason and other charges by beheading made her a key figure in the political and religious upheaval that marked the start of the English Reformation. Anne's biographer Eric Ives and most other historians believe that her fall and execution were primarily engineered by her former ally, Thomas Cromwell. The conversation between Chapuis and Cromwell thereafter indicate Cromwell as the instigator of the plot to remove Anne. Evidence of this is seen in the Spanish Chronicle and through letters written from Chapuy to Charles V. Anne argued with Cromwell over the redistribution of church revenues and over foreign policy. She advocated that revenues be distributed to charitable and educational institutions, and she favored a French alliance. Cromwell insisted on filling the king's depleted coffers while taking a cut for himself and preferred an imperial alliance. In 1780, William Herschel discovered the first binary star in Ursa Majoris. Herschel constructed his first large telescope in 1774, after which he spent nine years carrying out sky surveys to investigate double stars. Herschel published catalogues of nebulae in 1802 and in 1820. The resolving power of the Herschel telescopes revealed that many objects called nebulae in the Messier catalog were actually clusters of stars. In 1945, the World War II Battle of Berlin ended as the Soviet army took over Berlin and General Wiedling surrendered. In 1946, the film based on the novel by James M. Kane was directed by Tay Garnett and starring Lana Turner, it was released called The Postman Always Rings Twice. In 1949, Arthur Miller won the Pulitzer Prize for Death of a Salesman. In 1980, Pink Floyd's song Another Brick in the Wall was banned in South Africa. In 2012, a pastel version of The Scream by Norwegian painter Edvard Munch sold at an auction for $119 million. In Barcelona, football player Lionel Messi broke the European goal scoring record with 68 goals on this day in 2012. Famous birthdays for May 2nd. May 2nd, 1844, Elijah McCoy was born. He was an inventor and engineer of African-American descent who was notable for his 57 U.S. patents, 
most having to do with the lubrication of steam engines. Benjamin McLean Spock was born in 1903. He was an American pediatrician whose book Baby and Child Care that came out in 1946 was one of the best-selling volumes in history. The book's premise to mothers is that you know more than you think you do. May 2nd, 1972, Dwayne Johnson was born. The Rock is now one of the highest grossing box office stars of all time. He has been part of the film franchise, The Fast and the Furious, since its fifth installment, Fast Five, in 2011. This led to the spin-off Hobbs and Shaw in 2019. Other successful film roles include Disney's Moana and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. The Rock published his best-selling autobiography The Rock Says in 2000 and started his own film production company in 2012. May 2nd, 1975, David Robert Joseph Beckham was born. Beckham is one of the most recognizable soccer players of all time, spending most of his playing career at huge clubs like Manchester United, Real Madrid, AC Milan, Paris Saint-Germain, and LA Galaxy. He earned 115 caps for England, 58 as captain, and appeared at three FIFA World Cups and two UEFA European Championship tournaments. His marriage to Victoria Adams of the Spice Girls in 1999 made them one of the world's great power couples. They now have four children. Beckham is the current president and co-owner of Inter Miami CF in MLS and co-owner of Salford City in the fourth tier of English football. Famous passings for May 2nd. May 2nd, 1519. Leonardo da Vinci passed. Revered for his technological ingenuity, he conceptualized flying machines, a type of armored fighting vehicle, concentrated solar power, an adding machine as well, and the double hull. Relatively few of his designs were constructed or even feasible during his lifetime, as the modern scientific approaches to metallurgy and engineering were only in their infancy during the Renaissance time. May 2nd, 1972, John Edgar Hoover passed. He built the Federal Bureau of Investigation into a large crime-fighting organization, but controversy surrounds the power he acquired in doing so, including the intimations of secretive actions, blackmail, and intimidation, even of U.S. presidents. May 2, 2009, Marilyn French passed. She was a radical feminist American author. French's first and best-known novel, The Women's Room, that came out in 1977, follows the lives of Mira and her friends in 1950s and 1960s America, including Val, a militant radical feminist. The novel portrays the details of the lives of women at this time and the feminist movement of this era in the United States. This has been Today's Situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.